Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I want to speak to you today about the new age or the new cage. Uh, this is something that's been bothering me for years and I'm surprised really I haven't done a blog about it before but it's really something that I feel is a real danger to holding us back in our evolution and the reason I say that, the new age was created basically to entrap people for uh, entrap people that weren't interested in religion okay so the people the right brain overload so obviously we've got the two hemispheres of the brain the left being a more rigid political egghead type thinker overload on the right brain more religious looking for a savior slave uh, slave thinking kind of thing so the new age was basically created to entrap those people that weren't interested in religion and don't get me wrong there's a lot of truth within the new age um, in terms of sort of vibrations keeping our vibrations high and that sort of thing but there's so many parts of it which uh, mislead people and misguide people um, and they do call it the last uh, honeypot before the gold mine and so many people get caught up in it and I just feel that it needs to be called out really for what it is um, there's a lot of escapism in there. This whole idea of ignoring the negative and just focusing on the positive is absolutely absurd. I mean, when you look at what's going on in the world and the situation that we're in, the very reason that we're in that situation is because we've spent so long ignoring the negative. Uh, ignoring the negative is, is confronting the negative is, is never a bad thing because you learn and then you grow and then you can shield yourself from it and you can shield other people from it and it really is what true alchemy is alchemy is uh, transcending negatives into positives and that's what we need to become we need to be we need to become alchemists not uh, complete avoidance um, and I always say, you know, when people come back to me with, well, you know, it's your, your vibration. Well, how do you think while you're ignoring the negatives, uh, a child in Gaza who just had their family blown up, how do you think their vibrations are doing, you know, whilst you're ignoring the negative? So we really need to, we need, we need to move on from that, that way of thinking and, and take the good parts from the new age, but realize there's things like that. Also, uh, another one, uh, another big one is never get angry. This is a huge one for me. I mean, if you're not angry about what's going on at the moment, where you've got w wars being waged across the planet, illegal wars, children are being raped uh, by the elite, and we're being sprayed like bugs. I mean, what sort of person would not be angry about any of that? It's ridiculous to suggest that we, wouldn't, we shouldn't be angry. I mean, there's dwelling in anger is one thing, which is bad, and I appreciate that. And I've been there myself, where you, you, you just, you can't get out of that state, and that's not good. Um, but anger drives us into action, and we have emotions for a reason. And those, the reasons we feel emotions is to spur us into action. So to say that we should never be angry about anything, again, it's just, it's just new age bullshit. It's, it's more mind control because, of course, if you're a controlling force, then you're, no, you're never going to want people to get upset and angry because they'll just be docile. And, uh, you know, I see it here in, in Cambodia. There's a lot of what I call new age hipsters around and, you know, they're aware of a few things and they're so caught up in that whole vibration got to keep things you know everything's peace everything's love it's the same with buddhism buddhism's all meditation peace love yeah great but hang on a minute you're still enslaved and the world's still enslaved so we need to understand that they 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 throw in truths they obfuscate truth so they they throw in the nice parts the spiritual parts which in this time is really going to appeal to people because we're looking for answers and to to come into the information that we're these powerful spiritual beings and we have control over our, our own destiny and by keeping our vibrations high we can we can uh, consciously grow and that's all great stuff but being for me being spiritual is about looking at the negatives in the face and dealing with them 
and growing, like I say, like true alchemists. So we shouldn't say that getting angry is a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. Initial anger, the feeling of anger, it's like if you feel guilt. You know, if you feel guilt, you know you've done something wrong and you need to correct it. It's the same with anger. You feel angry, something's not right, you need to react. And that's the reason why we have our emotions, is because they're indicators as to what's going on our, in our lives. Um, and then we move on and we grow from there. So that's another big one for me. Um, other ones in the new age, there's, there's quite a lot. Uh, the idea of, you know, never judge anyone, never say anything about anything, you know, just, just, just let the, the very things that are causing chaos in this planet, just let them slide. Don't ever say anything. You know, things that are holding us back, mind control techniques that people are taking part in. You know, death upon the animals with with the meat eating industry and the dairy industry. Oh, you know, just let people do what they No. The reason the world is in chaos is because not enough people call out on people's bullshit. And you know, don't get me wrong, I'm far from perfect myself and I'm not I'm not saying that I, I am, but you know, I'm aware of what's going on. I I'm aware of the changes that I need to make to move in line with natural law, which is cause and effect, do no harm to others, cause no loss, and expose the truth. So when, when we're in a world where our actual behavior is, or the manifestation of what we see is directly the result of our very behavior, we have to start calling that out. So that to me is an ev evolved society. I imagine that to be, uh, you know, in the future times where everyone's one, and this is how the natives were, the, the Native Americans and the ancient tribes, they didn't just let uh, things slide like that. And these were most, some of the most evolved communities on the planet. Of course, they've been wiped out and demonized and called all sorts of things. So that's another big one, you know, we need to start calling out things as they are. And there's nothing wrong with that. And we shouldn't feel guilty about that. And, and people do, people, people do, it's, it's another new age thing, you know, just let things slide, you know. Well, that's what we've fucking been doing and look where we are. So see what I mean with that. Um, another one is quite a big one, especially where you see where we are uh, as a society, the idea, and, and I would never advocate, advocate violence at all, but there is nothing wrong with using force if you are coerced yourself. This is another thing that the new age wants to take out of you. You could never use force. You know, it's wrong. I'm sorry, but if someone is attacking you, you have every right under natural law to respond with the appropriate force. And it's the same with the elite. And it's, you see, we're seeing it now with the, the, the guns in America. They're trying to take the guns away, we know that. And really, once they do that, that country is at the mercy of its government and the military drones that are just obeying orders. And it's out of control there. And if they were to take away the guns, uh, that, that country is completely enslaved, that affects the rest of the world, and we all become more enslaved once America becomes enslaved. And you talk to a lot of people and say, well, yeah, but guns, you know, bad. Yeah, guns are bad. I'd love to see a world without guns, but we're dealing with psychopaths here, and we need to be able to stand up for ourselves. So there's nothing wrong with, if someone goes to harm you, you can respond in the appropriate force. So. We need to sort of define the lines there, basically. Um, another, another big one in the new age is um, solipsism. Now solipsism is basically where it's actually one of the satanic sins. Even in Satanism, they, if you're a solipsist, then that's actually a sin. And this is the idea that um, there is no truth, that each truth is everyone's truth. We all have different individual truths. It's all subjective. There's nothing objective. We can never know truth. 
Um, and that's completely erroneous. It's a complete lie. Uh, there is an objective truth, and truth basically is what is, what we're all experiencing. Um, so that's another one to be aware of, that there is truth can be known, and we are bound by certain universal laws, and we can know these universal laws. Um, so that's another huge one. And yeah, so there's many aspects to it, and I would just urge people, it can look very attractive on the face of it. There's a lot of these channelers, um, I mean, there's people out there like Abraham Hicks who basically, the, the, the mainstream law of attraction is bullshit, yeah? It keeps people in an individual uh, mindset where they're just focusing on themselves, you know, what can I get for me? If I, if I just behave like I've already got something, then I'll have it. That's not how it works. Law of attraction actually involves action. That's why it's in the actual word, attraction. And the real law of attraction is living in line with natural law, which is exposing the truth, do no harm to others, cause no loss, and basically common sense, be a good person. And once you move in line and you change things within your life to move in line with natural law, you'll find that things will that you want will start to manifest. But if we just sit there acting like we've got what we already want with no action at all, then we're kidding ourselves. And this is things like the secret, some of these channelers, you know, it's all about keeping, keeping you in that material mindset, which is a satanic mindset. That's part of Satanism is being materialistic. And it's all about, you know, if you think this, you can get a Ferrari or you can get as much money, you can get, you know, be very, very, um, careful when looking at these gurus there's a lot of these snake oil snail salesmen snailsmen salesmen about um charging stupid amount of money telling people what they want to hear where they don't have to take any action at all and of course that's going to appeal to humanity which by its very nature has got quite a selfish uh mindset and we need to be very careful with this these teachings that are going out there anymore it just seems to me like you can sit there you can do that pretend you're channeling someone or you can sit in an orange robe in india and come out with all this profound stuff and have like a russell brand haircut and you're like this amazing guru and it's bullshit there's a lot there's i mean i'm not saying it's all bullshit but i'm just saying that you know, just be aware if someone's saying that we don't need to take any action. If we didn't need to take any action, so th this this would mean that the the people in Palestine, if they just wanted Israel to stop bombing, they would just have to be in that that uh, mindset that they've stopped bombing. No action would needed. It means absolute garbage. Yeah, it doesn't even make common sense, let alone any spiritual, let alone being based in any kind of spiritual law. Um, and you know, don't listen to me. This is all researchable yourself. Uh, Mark Passio does a great, um, a great speech on on all this. Goes into a lot more depth. Um, New Age bullshit. I would encourage everyone to look at that. All I'm saying, guys, is that you know there is a lot of truth in it about vibration and keeping that, keeping your energy high and and you know we need to do all that. That's true and. Don't throw the baby out of the bathwater, but just be really careful because there's certain aspects of that religion, because it is a religion, um, that are leading us down the wrong path, and we are getting diverted. Um, and I feel we could just get over this last hurdle, this last um, trap that they've set, then we can really move on and start to evolve. So. Yeah, just a quick one. That could go into lots of depth, but like I say, check it out for yourselves. Don't listen. Don't listen to everything I'm saying. Um, I'm just saying, be careful. Um, there's a lot of people out there getting trapped in this, and you know, I want to see us evolve and grow, and I see the the pitfalls in it. So anyway, thanks for listening, and have a great weekend, guys. See ya.